Now that we finished setting up the scenario slide with the video placeholder, we have a problem and here's the issue. When this video first loads, the, uh, the background, the, the, that Polaroid background image, because it's all white, I don't know if it comes through on the screencast, it, it, it creates this really prominent flicker, right? So we have a uh, background here that's all white and then the video pops on anywhere from, you know, half second to a second after this loads. Depending on the videos, depending on the user connection, this could uh, be a bigger deal, uh, maybe up to a second or two. One way that we can kind of create that, right? So here's our, our background that we put, you know, just the videos being loaded over this. One way we can get around that is just to create this, this fake video loading screen. So it's the same image that we have uh, for the background, but we just put a uh, piece of clip art with the, uh, the movie reel and typed out video loading. So it's a single image. And from here, we can actually just use that so that when this piece is loading, it'll actually show uh, the video loading screen, almost like if you had a, a custom preloader. So we can just take our other image and just swap it out, right? So change picture, come in here, and put that in there. Same size, everything's the same. We just added a uh, typed out video loading, saved it back out as a PNG file. And now we can put our video here. And when we publish, you get a slight video loading screen. So it's a real uh, quick way to do a, a, a video loading preloader workaround just to give your, your learners something to see in case the video takes a little longer uh, to load uh, than expected. So just a, a quick way to um, add a video loader.